what is the research system why a female of negative blood group should marry a male with negative blood group and should not marry a male with positive blood group what is hemolytic disease of newborn we are going to discuss in today's video hello students i am dr faisal and you are watching bio ocean classes so let's get started rh system rh word stands for rhesus and what is rhesus rhesus is the name of a monkey or it's a type of monkey to understand this system let's understand first this experiment which was done many years back okay this experiment is very important i have covered most of the topics of abo blood group in the previous video you can watch that video if you have not watched that video yet okay so let's start this experiment we have a monkey that is rhesus monkey and we have rabbit a normal rabbit two organisms one is rhesus monkey and another is a rabbit if we take the blood of rhesus monkey and inject inside the rabbit i have taken the rbcs or i have taken the blood of rhesus monkey and i have injected inside the rabbit what will happen to the rabbit or what rabbit will do to these uh, rbcs of blood maine rhesus monkey ka blood nikala aur rabbit ke andar inject kar diya now these rbcs they will be acting as foreign substance or they will be acting as foreign antigen for the rabbit and when they act as a foreign antigen for the rabbit the immune system of the rabbit is going to produce antibodies against this rbc this very important thing maine monkey ke rbcs ya monkey ka blood rabbit mein dal diya to rabbit ke immune system ne is rbc aur is blood ke against antibodies bana di this is the very basic property of immune system and these antibodies they are against the rhesus blood so we call them as rh antibodies okay this is the first experiment rh antibodies now i isolated these rh antibodies from the rabbit maine rabbit se in rh antibodies ko isolate kiya and what i did in first in first case i mixed the blood of rhesus monkey with these antibodies the blood of rhesus monkey in purple i mixed with the rh antibodies what is going to happen these antibodies they will destroy these rbcs and hemolysis will occur ये जो आरबीसीज मैंने इसके साथ मिक्स किए वो सारे डिस्ट्रॉय हो जाएंगे टूट जाएंगे दिस इज नोन एज हिमोलिस दिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन थिंग बिकॉज आर इच एंटीबॉडीज आर अगेंस्ट दीज आर बी सीज देन वट आई हैव डन आई हैव टेकन ह्यूमन आर बी सीज एंड आई मिक्स दिस ह्यूमन आर बी सी विद द आर एच एंटीबॉडीज दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ह्यूमन ब्लड और ह्यूमन आर बी सीज वेन वी मिक्स विद द आर एच एंटीबॉडीज वी सी टू काइंड ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई वॉन्ट यूर कंसंट्रेशन हियर we see two kind of responses 80% of the population 80% of the population they show same response as the rhesus blood jaise ki rhesus ka blood toot gaya tha rhesus monkey ka blood jaise toota waise hi human rbcs bhi toot gaye aur 20% logon ka blood aisa tha 20% people they have uh, they have the blood which do not show hemolysis jisne hemolysis show nahi kiya 80% population showed hemolysis and 20% population it does not show hemolysis this was a experiment set up number 1 we isolated the antibodies and then we did experiment on human rbcs 80% hemolysis occurred and 20% there was no hemolysis what was the inference that we draw from this experiment if 80% population it is showing hemolysis what does this mean iska kya matlab hai it means that 80% population their blood it is similar to the blood of rhesus monkey or it is having some similarity with the rhesus monkey or i say the antigen present on the human rbc is same that is present on the rhesus rbc and 20% population which do not show hemolysis their blood is not similar to the rhesus monkey okay so this is the inference from this experiment how we use this 80% population their blood it they has similar antigen like the rhesus monkey okay why because they reacted in the same manner as the rhesus monkey's blood reacted the antigen which was present on the humans which was similar to the rhesus monkey that antigen has been given the name d antigen jo antigen humans pe present hai rhesus antigen usko humne naam de diya hai d antigen aur jo rhesus antibody thi uska naam humne anti d antibody de diya okay so we have rhesus antigen which is known as d antigen and we have the antibody it is known as anti d antibody if we see from this experiment our population it gets divided into two subsets one in which rh antigen is present and one 
सबसेट इन विच आर एच एंटीजन इज एबसेंट कुछ लोग जिनमें आर एच एंटीजन प्रेजेंट है एटी परसेंट पॉपुलेशन उनको आर एच पॉजिटिव कहा जाता है दे आर नोन एज आर एच पॉजिटिव पीपल और जिनमें ये एबसेंट है दे आर नोन एज आर एच नेगेटिव दिस इज वेरी सिंपल इफ आई एम सेंग आई एम ओ पॉजिटिव आई मीन माई ब्लड इट कंटेन्स आर एच एंटीजन बिकॉज आई एम पॉजिटिव इफ समबडी सेज ही इज बी नेगेटिव इट मीन्स आर एच एंटीजन इज एबसेंट Positive and negative. Positive means R H antigen is present, and negative means R H antigen is absent. And we can see that 80% population is positive, and only 20% population is our R H negative. So this is how we divide positivity and negativity. Now, what is the significance of this system or R H system? Where it is useful? It is very useful in case of females. Okay, in case of females, it is very useful. Let's understand with the help of this example. If we have a female with negative blood group and it's married to a male with positive blood group negative blood wali female ne agar positive male wale blood ke sath shaadi ki what's going to happen their fetus or the baby it will be rh positive because it's going to get the positive antigen from the father and it will be rh positive when this female it will be pregnant for the first time it will be carrying rh positive inside the uterus it will be carrying rh positive baby inside the uterus but we have placenta which separates this blood or rh positive fetus from the mother so no anti uh, antibody is formed in the first pregnancy what is there the fetus is inside the uterus the fetus is inside the uterus but placenta is not allowing these positive cells to go inside the mother but what happens at the time of parturition jab child birth and delivery honi hoti hai what happens the placenta gets destroyed placenta ruptures when placenta rupture what happens there is mixing of blood some of the positive cells some of the positive cells they enter inside the female and this child it is normally delivered this child it has a normal delivery and it's healthy understand first pregnancy the child is absolutely normal but at the time of delivery it sends some positive cells inside the female okay this is all what happens when these positive cells enter inside the female which is negative this is same as the case of a rabbit if we compare the rabbit to a female which is negative and we compare these rbc positive cells these positive cells to the fetal positive cells what is the response the rabbit or the mother it's going to produce the antibodies okay and these antibodies will be present in the blood of the mother the female it will recognize these positive rbcs as foreign and it will produce antibodies against them it's going to produce antibodies against them okay but this first child it is normally born it has a normal delivery you need to understand this but when the second child of now i'm talking about second pregnancy same state i have the female now we will understand the second state i have a female now it is second time pregnant same female it is pregnant again now agar ye dusri baar pregnant hai again the positive fetus is inside okay but this time the mother is sensitized this time the mother it has antibodies the antibodies can cross the placenta placenta is there but these antibodies can cross the placenta when they cross the placenta they will come inside the fetus and what they will do inside the fetus they will destroy the rbcs this is very important thing second time when the female is pregnant the baby which is developing inside it's going to suffer from the rbc antibodies which were developed during the first pregnancy these antibodies they are going to destroy all the rbcs of the fetus and it has a dreadful disease which we are going to discuss shortly okay to summarize first pregnancy is normal but the female it becomes sensitized it produces antibodies second pregnancy the child cannot survive because the antibodies will cross and they are going to destroy the rbcs okay this disease is known as hemolytic disease of newborns the phenomena that we saw in the previous diagram this is known as hemolytic disease of newborns or it is also known as hydrops fetalis or it is also known as erythroblastosis fetalis these are the different names for the same disease but actually if we see what is this this is a severe case of rh incompatibility
अगर हम देखें तो ये डिजीज क्या है ये कुछ भी नहीं है ये आर एच इनकम्पेटेबिलिटी है माँ नेगेटिव थी पॉजिटिव फीटस ने सेंसिटाइज होके एंटीबॉडीज का प्रोडक्शन करवाया और उन्होंने नेक्स्ट प्रेगनेंसी में बेबी को सफर करवाया सो दिस इज हिमोलिटिक डिजीज ऑफ न्यू बॉन्स सो वट विल बी द फीचर्स ऑफ हिमोलिटिक डिजीज ऑफ न्यू बॉन्स आई है हिमोलिटिक डिजीज ऑफ न्यू बॉन्स देर विल बी हिमोलिस जो फीटस होगा उसके आरबीसी टूट जाएंगे क्योंकि एंटीबॉडीज है एंड वेन द आरबीसी दे विल डिस्ट्रॉय इट इज गोइंग टू क्यूराइज टू एनीमिया एनीमिया मतलब देर विल डिक्रीज हिमोग्लोबिन बिकॉज आरबीसीज आर गेटिंग कॉन्टीन्यूसली डिस्ट्रॉयड एंड वेन आरबीसीज दे गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड यू विल बी नोइंग अवर आरबीसीज दे हैव हिमोग्लोबिन एंड हिमोग्लोबिन इज मेड ऑफ हेम एंड ग्लोबिन वेन आरबीसी इज डिस्ट्रॉयड हिमोग्लोबिन इज ऑल्सो डिस्ट्रॉयड ग्लोबिन इज अगेन यूज बट दिस हेम इट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू बिली रूबिन सो वेन देयर विल बी हिमोलिस वेन एवर देयर विल बी डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ एक्सेस आरबीसी एक्सेस ऑफ बिली रूबिन इज गोइंग टू बी फॉर्म एंड दिस बिली रूबिन इज येलो इन कलर एंड इफ इट इज येलो इन कलर इट विल गिव येलो कलर टू स्किन that is known as jaundice okay so jaundice is yellowish discoloration of the skin which is also known as ichthyosis because the bilirubin rises same will happen in this baby because of destruction of the rbcs anemia will be there jaundice will be there and this bilirubin it will deposit inside the brain of the fetus and this this condition is known as kernicterus when bilirubin deposits inside the brain which will cause mental retardation this is known as kernicterus and this baby it will be having a lot of swelling because it is having severe anemia it will be having swelling and mostly these babies they don't survive they die inside the uterus and if they are born they have very severe jaundice and what is the treatment if we say for these babies we have to do exchange transfusion what is exchange transfusion we have to replace all the blood of the fetus newly born baby ka hame sara blood jo hai wo exchange karke naya blood chadana padta hai so that we are able to save these babies okay so this is hemolytic disease of newborns we discussed up till now what is rh system what is the significance of rh system and a severe incompatibility that is known as hemolytic disease of newborns now there is a very very important question how we are going to prevent this disease hemolytic disease of newborns how we will prevent this disease this disease is prevented by injection of anti d antibodies within 72 hours of delivery or abortion this is very important thing let me make you clear here again when the first delivery happened rbcs entered inside the maternal circulation these rbcs they entered inside the maternal circulation if within 72 hours if this female it gets anti d antibodies If this female gets anti-D antibodies, मैंने इस female को बाहर से antibodies दे दी What these antibodies will do? वो जाके इन सारे RBC cells को destroy कर देगी These antibodies will come and they will destroy all the RBCs present inside the female. And immune system will not see any of the RBCs because all the RBCs they have been destroyed by the exogenous anti-D antibody. मैंने बाहर से antibody दी उसने सारे RBC cells को खत्म कर दिया और फीमेल का ब्लड ऐसा है जैसे कि उसमें कोई आरबीसी सेल आया ही नहीं था ओके सो दिस इज बेसिकली एंटी डी एंटीबॉडीज दिस इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ पेसिव इम्यूनिटी दिस इज एग्जांपल ऑफ पेसिव इम्यूनिटी बिकॉज वी आर गिविंग प्रोटेक्शन विद द हेल्प ऑफ एंटीबॉडीज विच आर गिविंग फ्रॉम आउटसाइड ओके तो दिस इंजेक्शन इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू गिव दिस इंजेक्शन टू द फीमेल द फीमेल विल नॉट बी सेंसिटाइज एंड सेकेंड प्रेगनेंसी विल बी नॉर्मल बट एट द second pregnancy again we have to give the injection whenever the female is pregnant at the time of delivery or at the time of abortion we have to give this anti d antibody okay second important the female has to take care during the blood transfusions it always has to receive negative blood group it somehow if it receives positive blood group the problem is going to arise in the pregnancy and uh, the female has to be precautious about the needle and the razor injuries because they are contaminated with the blood and if they are contaminated with blood if somehow positive cells enter the female will be sensitized to ye sari cheeze ek hdn hemolytic disease of newborns ko prevent karne ke liye bahut zaruri hai female ko khud koi problem nahi hai lekin jo uski pregnancy hai jo uske bachche hain they are going to suffer this is a very very important concept and during the blood transfusions this system is also used because अगर आपने नेगेटिव वाले पर्सन के अंदर पॉजिटिव ब्लड इंजेक्ट कर दिया 
the blood is going to clot inside the blood vessels and the person is going to die or the person is going to have a severe anaphylactic reaction so this is regarding the rh system i hope the abo system and rh system is clear to you now abo system is what you say a b a b or o and uh, rh system is positivity or negativity of your blood group next time when somebody asks your blood group you can happily say that i am a positive or i am b positive because now you should be clear that what b means and what positive means next topic i will be covering about bombay blood group a very interesting topic uh, i will try to give a brief outline regarding that bombay blood group okay agar aapko ye video acha laga to please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you